Hello friends, welcome back once again. I'm Somnath and you are going to explore today a very important topic and that is how to run the app router locally. Hey, what exactly I mean by saying this? Let's check this out first. So this is the application I built in our last tutorial. It is an UI5 based application and you can see this application is running on HANA on demand.com that is nothing but a CB cloud platform. So quickly check the background architecture. I mean how this application actually construct it so i'm calling this one as my cloud environment assume or you know sap cloud environment and this is my local environment or local system so what we did basically we created this application using vs code within our local environment and we deployed this application to cloud to get it access from the cloud environment right and the data is coming all the way from the RAP service that also we have built in one of our earlier tutorial and this RAP service is actually feeding the data for this UI5 application where the entity we consumed was travel. Great. So now the problem starts if we could if we want to make any code changes let's say any model any controller any view elements etc in our local environment obviously I need to redeploy this code back to cloud so that this delta code changes gets reflects over there. But that's pretty much annoying, right? So how to solve this? So my intention is if we could run this application locally, that means under local host and port, then probably this headache, right, could have been minimized or maybe could have been avoided altogether because we don't want to you know redeploy each time for our simple code changes rather i want to test this application all the way from locally a uh, local environment how to make how to achieve this uh, goal so you probably can uh, recall we embedded one node.js application which is an app router this is the node.js application of course and obviously once it deployed to it was also available in cloud this app router plays an important role over here. It basically, uh, you know, breaks the authentication coverage, which is an OAuth authentication under which this RAP model is actually covered. And UI5 application cannot access the data with a basic authentication approach like normal user ID and password. So we introduced one service, and that is authentication and you know, trust management. So the moment UFF application you know, wanted to get the data from this travel entity, eventually app router used to make a call to this service and as a response, it you know, the authentication trust management service used to provide a JSON web based token, JWT. And this token used to have been forwarded to the backend API all the way through a session, overall transactional session, this, why is this, you know, this token used to get forwarded to. So that pretty much this app router is doing. If we could access or if we could run this app router in a local environment from app router run locally. So if we can do by some means, then probably I don't need to redeploy this code each time, rather I can run this application from my local environment and I could access this wrap data, I mean the model model data all the way from my local system itself but here one challenge extra that we have to definitely consider and that is accessing this authentication service from local environment right so that pretty much we have to achieve overall if we could do this probably you can very well anticipate our application will be running in local host and port right and we can see all the data as we have seen from cloud so that's that will definitely expedite our overall development experience and journey so we'll figure it out how to achieve this stay tuned till the end so this is the application that we created last time in vs code and this was the architecture and all the files purpose and things all you know uh, step by step i explained so I'm not going to re-explain all those things and not to waste your time. So what this we have to do first 
the problem statement one and that is app router run locally for this we need a specific file to include in our app folder okay i mean the folder where my access app json files resides so i'm clicking on this folder and create a file and the file name should be default hyphen env environment dot json so could be a question a why this uh, default environment json uh, i mean how do i know this file name should be like this is it something any other name is also accessible or acceptable no you have to give the file name with this default slash hyphen environment only and if you're really interested how i got this one probably you need to stay tuned till the end because this one i'll explain at the end of the topic so what we have to do here what of course we need to create a json object first and if we go to manifest.yml we see this is the target destination with which we could access our backend api right so this was our host and port connections so let's quickly write something called destinations okay and we basically needs an array and from manifest.json sorry yml rather we should copy this root or path okay so what exactly i did now so the moment app router finds this file default.environment.json it will not navigate to manifest.yml it will find this environment destination a target endpoint from this file itself i know i'm not explaining all this manifest and all details because i already explained it before so if you are not uh, able to understand uh, maybe after uh, you know getting this video is over probably you can just take a look the all with this previous uh, you know uh, informations or previous tutorials let's move forward so now having this small file and these details the first problem is solved means i am i can run app router locally but i cannot test it yet because my intention is to call this api which is my wrap service and for that i need this authentication so for this what you have to do you have to go to your cloud platform it's i'm logged out so let's go to our dev space so this is the application we had so what we need to do we need to basically click on this environment variables because already this application uh, is actually running on this xsu instance and we'll see two things one is this vcap service right and another one we'll see vcap application we basically need vcap service so we'll copy this enter piece of thing and we'll just copy till this one control c and we'll put back put a comma and then paste it okay excellent so out of this we don't need label provider plan name etc i don't need this all i'm deleting it i don't need instance name binding also let's delete that as well this verification key i don't need so let's delete this out as well so delete this verification key as i don't need it so and i can delete this two piece also we don't need it and remove this comma and save it back so this is the pretty much one single file that we need to build so the first one as i told it will ensure that no more a manifest.yml file is needed why this file is no more needed because i am not deploying this code to cloud anymore so i don't i am not dependent anymore on, on with this manifest.yml file right but i more interested now with this default environment.json and to get the destination of my target endpoint this file will be referred now 
and application ui5 application will basically get the url against this destination and to achieve the second problem which is then accessing authentication right it basically will be done by this vcap services okay so let's save it now i think i have already saved it okay that's great what next we have to do we have to now run this application let's go to terminal so we are currently on my first ufa project means i am currently residing at this level top level or parent level let's move one step down and that is cd app folder why do i need to go get into because this app folder is having this node modules which is eventually containing my app router we have seen before so from that we have to now run this command npm start moment i do you see now this app router started running locally and it says now listening on port 5000 awesome so let's open the local host and 5000 port and enter and let's see what it does wow awesome see now the data is coming from my local host and port beautiful so let's check the point which you was interested to and that is we'll make some code changes to see it's really reflecting or not let's open web app go to my view in the travel view json let's change travel and booking list are are running locally so suppose this is the changes i want to make one change and i'm just showing the agency id let's uh, change it to travel id okay that's two things i want to make just quickly see i'm just spelling it correctly this is my entity and it is perfect travel id i am going to print because currently i'm just printing the agency id okay so what we have to do we need to just rerun this application or we have to run the same command npm start and it will again start and listening on port 5000 so let's quickly check that out so this will i'll be seeing it as travel id and this some title will be changed as yes travel and booking list and we see this changes running locally and now we change we see the data and we didn't do any deployment excellent so let's quickly check how this default environment.json file uh, came into picture okay so for that you need to go to node modules expand sap and then you have to find something called access environment uh, expand library a little scroll down you will find something called load environment.js if you see this load environment function basically trying to check and upload this default environment json file it actually looks for this file to see the environment setup and i we have already created this file somewhere in this app folder only right that this is the file and that pretty much uh, for today uh, i i hope this discussion overall was uh, informative to you uh, thanks for supporting uh, me by subscribing this channel and set the bell icon if you would like to see this kind of content in future as well we'll connect next time with a different discussion thank you